all I wanted to look at. Babe, where have you been? Nowadays, you don't call to tell me your whereabouts like before. Why are you always scared whenever I'm out? Is there a problem with me leaving the house? Of course not, dear. The only problem is that I always want to know where you go to. Whenever I come back home without seeing you, I'm always scared. Sorry about that, dear. I didn't go far. I went to the hospital. Is there a problem again? What did the doctor say about your health? I'm pregnant again. You are pregnant? Wow, that's great news. So how come you are not happy about it? I'm happy. It's just that I remember our first child. You didn't even get to one week. Baby, this is great news. We should be celebrating. You don't have to think about the first one. And why not? Because he or she was not meant to be in our family. Don't worry, this one has come to stay. There will be no miscarriage. I pray so. And I hope you will not go back and bother face mother. Let the innocent woman have some peace. I will not bother her. But babe, how about we keep it a secret again? I don't want anyone to know about it. The first one was a secret. No, it wasn't. You think I don't know you told Johns and everything. Just keep mute this time around. Yes, ma'am. Sorry I went against you. I was just too happy. Yes, I know. I was happy too. But I decided to keep it between us. Nobody should be trusted. When the pregnancy has gone far, we can start telling people. Okay, dear. Baby, you know you didn't have to get me all those beautiful things. You have bought so much for me already. I haven't even started yet. Allow me to spoil you. Let me spend on you. I know you think I came to you because of money. Yes, that was my initial intention, but not anymore. I just want to be with you. Yes, dear. I know you want to be with me. At the same time, I have to take care of my wife. Okay, oh. There is a saying that a man's pocket is known based on how good looking his wife is. So I have not started spoiling you. I just wish I can start my own business. I am tired of always staying at home and depending on you. I want to start something for myself. Is that what you want? Yes, dear. That is what I want. I want to earn my money too, so I can support you with some things. Though, I don't need help in taking care of my family. But if if you insist on starting a business, then I'll support you. Oh, thank you, dear. How about our honeymoon? Where would you like us to go? You want to go for our honeymoon? Come on, it's been a long time already. It is not a long time for me. This is the time our marriage is starting. So I want us to go for honeymoon. Any country of your choice. Oh, I can't wait. I just... I just wish Cassandra can come with us. My love, Cassandra is your friend. We are going for our honeymoon. Cassandra doesn't need to come. I was just suggesting. I will tell you the country I want. Okay, dear. I'm glad to see you on your feet again. In just two months, you have been sick twice. My brother, it is not easy. Now, I know that there is no way I can avoid love it. This marriage is by fire by force. <laughs> by fire by force marriage. I actually have a good news to tell you. My wife strictly told me not to tell someone else. Good news again. Thank God there is a good news this time around. I always feel sad whenever you come here with the bad news. At this stage, you are not strong. All you want is good news. Exactly. So tell me what the good news is about. Is your wife pregnant again? Um, no, she's not. So what about you? What are you going to do with her? You used to leave her again now that you're fine. Do I have a choice to leave her? If I have a choice, then I'll do it. Of course, you have a choice. Of course, you have a choice. You can choose to leave her and remain sick forever, or you choose to marry her and be happy forever. What kind of happiness is that? How can you be happy with someone you don't love? Oh, guy, you love that lady, but you don't know. Why not open your heart for her? I bet you will realize how much you love her. Why don't you marry her as a second wife so I can rest? You will still be the first person to bash me for marrying a second wife. Man up and do the right thing. I wish I can run away from all this. I can see you have not learned your lesson. Don't worry, you will fall sick again. This time, even love it will not be able to save you. God forbid. I already proposed to her, so I will marry her as soon as possible. No, don't marry her. Continue being stubborn. Let me get you something to drink. Oh my god, mom, you scared me. You didn't tell me you would be coming to the city. Is that the welcome you're supposed to say? Johnson, what is going on with you? How do you mean? I have noticed you have not been yourself for two months now. Anytime I call you, you would promise to call me back, but you won't. You even promised to come see me, but you didn't. I'm really sorry about that, mom. It's just that I've been very busy with work. This is the time I usually return every day. Too busy to check on your mother? Just look at you. You don't look healthy at all. Were you sick or something? No, mom, I wasn't sick. It's just stress from work how was your journey down here it was not bad although i was disappointed you were not at home i am glad to see you again after many months almost a year i never knew you still have my spare key your spare key is the last thing i would forget whenever i come here because i know you really stay at home you might lock the door and leave with the keys i'm so glad you are here so how long will you be staying what is that supposed to mean johnson are you trying to chase your mother out from your house no mom sorry about that question please i am really tired so let me have some rest there is food on the dining table when you are done resting you can go eat
Workaholic. Hi, Emmanuel. Is it already break time? This is just 1 p.m. No, it's not your break time. So you mean I cannot visit my colleague unless it's break time? That's the truth. The rule forbids us seeing one another in the office for a random conversation when it's not break time, unless you want to deliver a message. You know I don't mind breaking the rules for you. If I hear, you think I don't know you're here to deliver a message. Okay, fine. You caught me. The boss wants to see you now, and I mean this moment. What does he want to see me for? I left his office about 30 minutes. To go. You know he's always calling you his office, so you don't have to complain. I am sure it has to do with work. So what about you? You don't want to see me. You know I always want to see you. In fact, today's lunch is on me. You will eat to your satisfaction. Lunch is always on you. Don't worry, I'll give you a treat soon. Let me find out what the boss wants. Okay. If he proposed to you, then you should be happy about it. I can't remember the last time I saw you smile. That is because I am not always happy. I wish I can disappear from this world and never come back. Why would you say such? You have a man and you love so much. He just proposed to you. You should be over the moon right now. Unfortunately, I am not. Because I know when the time comes, he will ditch me again like the last time. No, you won't. My husband told me Johnson was so sure of marrying you. He's really serious this time. The fact that he has to be forced to marry me is what pains me. There is no love in his part. He wants to marry me because of the sickness. I would advise you not to see it that way. Because you only end up getting yourself hurt. Ever since that day, he has been calling. And then? Is that supposed to be a good sign? I mean, he didn't even call you the first time he proposed. You both are heading somewhere. He has been calling, but he never requests to see me. I mean, we are engaged. If we don't spend time with each other, how are we going to be close? It is gradually. Johnny does not really know much of a relationship because he has never had one just give him little time okay if you say so how about you visit him tomorrow you don't have to wait for him to request after all that will soon be your house you think that is a good idea there is no other way than that okay Sir, you sent for me. Sandra, how many times will I tell you not to refer to me as sir? You only make me look old. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Kelvin. But since you are the CEO, I can't help but give you the respect you deserve. Yes, I know. Other people can call me sir, but definitely not you. I don't like it when you do that. Okay. Why are you calling now? I sent a money to call you about 20 minutes ago. What were you doing? I am sorry about that, sir. I was still working on the file you gave to me. I wanted to finish up. You know I hate when someone keeps me waiting. You are always doing this because you know I will not punish you. Please, sir, if the rule demands you punish me when I am wrong, I am not bigger than the rules. Are you done with the files? Not yet, sir. All right, you have to shift it aside and accompany me to a meeting this evening. But, sir, that is your PA's job. My job description doesn't involve me following you to meetings. Sandra, you are in no position to tell me what to do. I employed every one of you here so I can make whatever decision I want. Sorry, sir. So, get ready. We'll be there this evening. So, you have to return home early today so you can change to a nice outfit. I don't think that is necessary, sir. I am comfortable in what I am wearing now. Do not argue with me, Sandra. And don't be stubborn. Do as I see. Go home and change into something better. Okay, sir. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon to you too. Who are you? Um, my name is Lovett. I am here to see Johnson. I guess you are Johnson's mother. Yes, I am Johnson's mother. Are you his colleague from work? I thought he took a day off today. No, ma'am, not his colleague from work. It's surprising that Johnson did not tell you about me. Johnson and I are engaged. You must be joking with me. My son never told me anything about being with a woman. The typical Johnson. He is always trying to run away from the truth. The truth is that Johnson and I are meant to be together and we are engaged. Are you sure about this? I am very sure, ma. He proposed to me and I accepted his proposal. I guess he just wants to take things slow. Oh my god, I am so happy to hear this. Please have a seat, my dear. You don't have to stand in your husband's house. <laughs> We are not married yet. It is so good to finally meet Suma. Johnson has never introduced me to any of his family members. Even to visit me is always a problem to him. Although I am not happy to find out about the engagement this way, I am still happy that my son will be married. Thank you, Ma. I didn't expect you to be so young. You look good, Ma. Thank you, my dear. Let me get you something to drink. Good evening, mom. Good evening, my son. How was church today? It was fine, ma. I prayed for you. I am so hungry and exhausted. I hope you prayed for your fiancé too. What are you talking about? What's fiancé? Stop pretending, Johnson. Why are you hiding your engagement from me? Lovett came visiting in the afternoon and she told me everything. Everything like what? Everything like how you have not been treating her well. I don't need any explanation from you because naturally you are boring. So you and Lovett talked about me all through today. Why didn't she call me before coming to 
my house. Why would she call you? She has every right to be here whenever she wants. In fact, I will return this Becky to her before I go back. Mom, please stop. You know how much I love my privacy. I don't like it when someone comes whenever they want. Johnson, you have to start seeing her as your fiancé. If you don't love her, why then are you both engaged? That is not what I am saying. Allow me to handle everything myself. Now that I know you are engaged, you will not handle everything yourself. You need to get married as soon as possible. Not too soon. Go and freshen up while I set the table. Baby, are you still crying? <laughs> Give me one reason why I shouldn't cry, Matthew. Our second child is gone again. Yes, my love. I know it's so heartbreaking to lose the two pregnancies. But you know, crying will not bring them back. <laughs> What have I done to deserve this? What is my offense? Why can't I get pregnant and give birth to my child in peace? I just feel like there's something going on somewhere. We have to find out what it is. Why do I have to suffer this thing with you? I'm innocent. I should carry my own child. Baby, don't even know what the problem is and you're already concluding. This is the second pregnancy, yet we lost it again. For how long are we going to continue like this? Are you not bothered? Because I'm not crying doesn't mean I'm not bothered. I'm bothered and worried, my love. Then do something. Do what? I don't know. Just do anything. <laughs> Anything that will bring back our lost pregnancies. Don't worry, I'll find a way. All I want now is for you to put yourself together. Seeing you in tears breaks my heart. I'm trying. It is not easy at all. I had this miscarriage the same way I had the first one. It's okay, dear. I'll find a way. What would you like to eat for dinner? I'll cook for you. No, don't bother. I don't want to eat anything. I don't have the appetite. No, dear. You can't do this to yourself. I'll prepare something nice for you to eat. Please stop crying. What could be the reason for all these miscarriages? The doctor said everything is fine with pressures. So why is she always having miscarriages? This is not ordinary. There must be something wrong. Could it be that fate is... No, 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 no. I don't want to think about it. It's not possible that she is still angry with me till now. It's been a long time already. I'm sure she must have forgiven me for what I did to her. I begged for forgiveness from her mother. I got her gifts for a few days, so I think that should be enough to soften face heart. She loves her mother so much, so I think that little girl show I displayed made her forgive me. Maybe Precious is not medically okay. I have to take her again to the hospital for a proper checkup. I know she thinks this is a spiritual matter, but I don't think it is. I will take her to the hospital again tomorrow. Oh my god, yeah. I am so sorry about that. This must really be painful to you. Yes, it is very painful. I don't even know what to do anymore. I cry day and night, yet things remain the same. Have you gone for checkup? You both should go to the hospital for checkup to know what exactly is wrong. That was what we did yesterday. My husband insisted I should run a test on myself. So be certain everything is fine. We ended up doing it together at the hospital. The doctor confirmed that we are medically okay. Then what could be the reason for those miscarriages? Even the doctors were confused. Why a child is not able to grow in me? I'm scared of it. Why? Is there something you think is wrong? I have been having strange dreams few days. Many times I wake up sweating and panting. Tell me about it. It is always a woman with marks chasing me in my dream. Whenever she catches up with me, she stabs my tummy with her sword. How many times have you had the dream? About four times. The last time I had that dream was when I had my last miscarriage. There is something wrong, Precious. I would advise you you don't overlook whatever you see in your dream. You should consult a man of God. You think it will work? I just tell people to interpret dreams. Someone clearly is after your life. Just tell your husband to see a pastor. I will pray for you as well. Thank you, dear. Why didn't you tell me about those dreams? I'm so sorry. I didn't want to bother you with my dreams. You were already occupied with so many things. That is not an excuse, Precious. The first thing you would have done after waking up was to tell me about your dreams. You shouldn't have kept this for that long. I'm sorry. So now you're insinuating that all those miscarriages are spiritual and not medical. I don't really know what to think, Matthew. We have already done so many tests already. Yet it proves we are both medically okay. There's nothing wrong in seeking help spiritually. Hmm, you have a point. I will go and see my pastor tomorrow after work. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Thank you, dear. I'll be coming with you to see him too. No, my love. Have you forgotten you will travel tomorrow morning to see your parents? Don't tell me you forgot so soon. My parents can't wait. I can see the next day. This is more important. No, dear. I'll handle everything myself. Just go and see your parents. I'll see the pastor. If you say so. I'll make sure to return before night falls. Okay, honey.
Sandra, where have you been all this while? It's been a while I saw you in church. It's not been easy at all. I am trying as much as possible to make sure I attend all the services, but it's not working. Is this because of work? Yes, it is. This one you are going back home. Have they dismissed today's service? You are very late. The service started four hours ago. In fact, they dismissed about 30 minutes ago. I decided to stay back and pray for a bit. Oh my god, not again. I made sure to hurry up with the work so I can attend today's service. Unfortunately, you missed. Just try and make it on time next time as the assistant chore director you should always be available during chore administration i know my boss decided to take me with him to a meeting today of all days now i have missed today's service it's okay you don't have to feel so bad about it i'm sure god understands that it's not your fault thank you since you're going home i can as well follow you to your house it will be too boring to go back home by this time there's no problem about that by the way the pastor came he kept asking of you maybe he has a message for you when was that that was yesterday when we went to clean up the church, he kept asking of you. I think you should go and see him to know what the problem is. Okay, I will. Let's go. Good morning, mom. Good morning, my son. Uh-uh, you're all dressed. Where are you heading to this early morning? I'm going to work, mom. I'm already 10 minutes late, so I have to be on my way. You cannot go to work now. I have been waiting here for you to wake up, only for you to come out from your room all dressed. This is the normal time I go to work. I already made breakfast for you. Go and wait at the dining room while I bring your food. Thank you so much, mom. But I am not hungry. I will have breakfast when I get to the office. So you are choosing a stranger's food over your mother's food? What do you mean by you will eat breakfast when you go to work? Who will cook the breakfast for you? The reason I don't want to eat now is because of time and you are delaying me. Okay, oh, since you don't want to eat my food, I hope Lovette will come today so she can prepare dinner for you. Mom, Lovette is just my fiancé. I am not yet married to her. So when I'm married to her, we can talk about her making dinner in my house. If she does not cook for you, how will we know? How will we know she knows how to cook? Whether she knows how to cook or not i will still marry her i have to go now i am already late one more thing tell her i want to see her today i have some things to discuss with her we don't work together she works in a different company so there is no way i will see her today to pass the information but you have her phone number you can call her and pass the message to her make sure that girl is in this house have a nice day ma i have to go now <laughs> I knew it. I knew that everything that is happening to us has to do with fate. Stop crying, my love. Yes, you can blame me as much as you want, but I don't want you to cry. It hurts me. <laughs> I can't just help but cry. Does that mean we never have a child of our own? Does it mean I will never get pregnant? No, dear. People might think I am barren. They might think our childlessness is from me. The society is always quick to judge a woman when it comes to childlessness. How do we explain to them that we are both okay? We don't have to explain anything to anybody. And I think it will not take too long for this thing to pass away. Baby, how about we adopt a child? Don't you think that will be more better? I don't think it is better. That is the time people will talk the most. The pastor already gave me a solution to our problem. I didn't say it's all this why. If it's something we can do then, we will do it today. He wants us to take care of our fans. The problem now is that we don't have enough money to do that. Babe, even if it's for us to borrow, we will borrow the money and do it. If taking care of the orphan babies we give us what we want, then we will do it. Hmm, my brother, I'm sorry for what you are passing through. At this point, if you had seen the future before you did, I am sure you wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't even think of it. In fact, I would have run far away from sex before marriage. It's not easy at all, Johnson. It's okay. I am sure everything will be fine. As long as the pastor told you what to do to have your own child, then I would advise you just do it. My wife and I are very willing to comply, but we don't have enough money. I mean, the little we have is for our feeding and to pay some little bills. You haven't been promoted at your place of work till now. Till now, I'm still in the same position. I haven't been promoted yet. That's why my salary is small. Hmm, sorry about that. Can you help me with some money, please? I promise to pay back as soon as I can. So how much do you need? 200,000 naira. It's okay. I will help you. You don't need to pay me back. Just make sure you do the right thing. Wow, thank you so much, bro. I'm really grateful. You are welcome. I'll only give you the money because you want to use it for something good. Thanks, bro. So what about Lovette? I haven't heard anything about your wedding with her. Well, Lovette and I are still getting to know each other. When the time comes, we will fix the dates. 
Emmanuel, you know you don't always have to bring me to an eatery all the time. This time around, it's my turn to pay. Oh, come on, Sandra. Didn't I tell you to forget about your lunch as long as you work here? I always make sure you are well fed before you go home. I have worked here for a very long time and I don't even have the thoughts to quit anytime soon. For how long will you continue this? For as long as I want. Please don't reject my offer of always wanting to have lunch with you. Who would say no to such offer? I just feel indebted to you. Thank you so much for all these treats. I hope to pay you back someday. You are always, you're already pay me back you let me see your face every day that is the only thing i want okay then deal friend will be having a birthday party tomorrow would you like to attend with me i want to go there but i can't go alone a birthday actually it is a very wrong timing because i have choir rehearsals tomorrow after work i don't want to miss it for anything in the world so can't the main choir director stand in for you no she can't she already called to inform me she wouldn't be there tomorrow because she's not feeling too well so as her assistant, I have to take it up for her. It is okay. I am really sad that you won't be able to come, but it's fine. I guess we'll go together next time. Yes, we will. I have to go back to the office. Our lunch break is over. It is time for work. Okay, wait a minute. Let me see the waiter.